Hello everyone! Now I will show you the Supply and Demand Zones Indicator. You can download the indicator by the link in the description below. To run the indicator, simply drag the Supply and Demand Zones Indicator from the indicator list to UMT4 chart. And please, don't forget to click on the Allow DLL imports in the Settings window. The Supply and Demand Zone Indicator accurately draws the Supply and Demand Zones of a currency pair on the chart. You will find these zones in two colors on your MT4. One is white, which signifies zones that have been retouched recently. The other zone is painted gray and it signifies zones that are yet to be touched. And somewhere in the settings, you can tweak the indicator to make it display the Fibonacci retracement between zones. So, how to use the Supply and Demand Zones indicator? It's quite easy to use. Since supply and demand zones are basically support and resistance zones, you can use this indicator in much the same way. Price often hits the supply zone and bounces back down. And when it hits the demand zone, it bounces up. So you could take advantage of this predictability and make straight off of it. The rule of trading supply and demand is to sell at supply and buy in demand. There are several interesting lines in the settings of this indicator. The first line makes it possible to select the time frame we need. And the next three can turn the display of zones on and off. Draw edge price puts currency pair prices at the edge of each zone. Zone FIPS together with hood on displays Fibonacci retracement tool and price movement direction. The supply and demand zone indicator will be very useful for novice traders who have problems recognizing support and resistance levels and professional forex traders who draw their zones differently from the way they appear on this indicator may find it less useful for themselves. However, the accuracy of this indicator cannot be denied, so it can be a useful tool for anyone who uses supply and demand in their trading. You can download the indicator by the link in the description below. Bye-bye!